right, angry cyclist. Today is the day after of the Giro stage that has been shortened and I am riding even if uh, the weather is not uh, of the best. But I have to say that uh, I am with the riders. I am with the riders for many of reasons. The difference between me and a pro rider is that uh, the pro rider has got uh, five or six percent of fat. I have uh, 10 kilos more on my feet weight. <laughs> What about you, Max? You are with the riders or not? I am with the riders. Today it's foggy, but it's not cold. private road but with a nice uh, advice where uh, pedestrians and cyclists are allowed to cross this road the first point is uh, three weeks i am with the riders because uh, they rode for uh, three weeks uh, and in every single stage, every rider had pushed uh, his body to overcome his limits. Someone brought uh, through the social, this is their job, uh, uh, they are paid for this, uh, they have to do this. Someone else brought that uh, 250 kilometers are uh, a regular distance for the classic like Roubaix, Fiandre, Lombardia, etc. But I have to remind them that uh, the classic are one day race and in one day you can shoot uh, everything you have in your body. The Giro is a three weeks ride. So I think we can't compare a classic ride with a Grand Tour. Furthermore, the Giro was planned to be ridden between May and June and now we are at the end of October. And this is a cold October before the Morbegno Asti they had already 18 days of race in their legs. Lots of other people wrote that uh, Coppi, Bartali and Marx, Moser, etc. made uh, an epic cyclism. But I think that uh, it was a different uh, era. And uh, every sport uh, gets a transformation during the years and it's uh, nobody's fault. I know that uh, there were stages with uh, 350 kilometers, of course. But uh, nowadays, cyclism is different. The stages are uh, shorter, but more intensive. I think that nowadays, uh, a pro rider has got uh, more stress than in the past. They have more commitments. They are uh, in the spotlight 24 hours for the VADA, for the media, for the socials, for the sponsor, the teams, etc. They have to take care of every single aspect of their job, from the diet, uh, to the equipment, uh, to the training, uh, and they are constantly looking for the marginal gain in every single aspect. I agree that uh, this situation could be managed in a different and better way. Starting from the organization, I think that uh, they could image that uh, a stage of this kind uh, was difficult to face uh, in a bad weather. The riders already did uh, an epic stage uh, the day before, uh, with the stadio under the snow and they had another tough stage the day after with the triple climb of Sestriar. And honestly I think that a stage of 250 kilometers between those two tough stages was uh, useless for the GC. I think that uh, if the organization had proposed uh, a shortening stage, there would have been no such fuss. Another thing that I didn't like was the strong declaration made by Mr. Vegni that was a real threat made on TV. These are my reasons why I am with the riders. I am pretty sure that none of the journalists that uh, criticized uh, the riders have never done a Grand Tour. They have never ridden uh, 
more than 200 kilometers and for sure they have never done them uh, underwater. Last but not least uh, that I want to remind uh, to all of us uh, is that uh, riders are the real actors of the race. Without riders there is no show, there is no business, there is no job, there is no cycling. Tell me politely in the comment below if you agree with me or not or uh, how you would solve the, the situation. See you next time, bye bye!